Feminism has brainwashed young women to believe that wifehood and motherhood are optional stuff that you can do later in life. Freeze your eggs, eat, pray, you know what, etc. Oh my god. This crap is freaking delusional and manipulative AF. Peak fertility is 22. And also 90% of your eggs are dead by 30. <laughs> Brother, what are you talking about? They just think that their only purpose is to have kids. Oh, <laughs> icky, icky, icky. This whole video is just gonna be guys explaining to women how their own body works when they have no idea what they're talking about. Yeah, I hope you're ready, guys. Let's go. Welcome back everybody, hope you're doing amazing. Thank you for tuning back in and welcome to some bad women's anatomy. The horrors that we're gonna read today, I'm so excited. It's Monday morning, ready to start the week with a bang. And yeah, I haven't even been awake long today, but I just wanna be doing this. You know, I'm sure a lot of people start their day in a healthy way, <laughs> but this is the way that I like to start my day. Thank you guys so much for all your support. I really appreciate it. We're almost at 70k which is insane that's such a huge number i can't even believe it and yeah i'm feeling super grateful all right sit back relax and let's get into some nightmares <laughs> what size you know what my queen ah i'm 100 sure that's a joke so it gets a pass but only just yeah right babies come out of a butt but god forbid they see one uh but i can promise you rolling two kids deep and neither came out of my butt. Pretty flippin' much. I guess I'll be politically correct. They come from the VJJ, which is right beside the you-know-what, which are both located in the butt. <laughs> oh! <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, and pee is stored in the balls. People are crazy. Be good to your body and cleanse. Period pain is a sign that your body needs help. No, it's not. Period pain is extremely normal for healthy people. Your you-know-what is literally tearing parts of itself up. No, your period pain has to do with the amount of toxins your ovaries are carrying. I just had mine and I couldn't even tell it was there except for seeing blood and after months of proper cleansing. So yes, it's normal because so many women are sick, but realistically, no, it shouldn't be normal. No, it's not. Please stop spreading misinformation. The pain can vary between women, but it's normal. With the exception of some illnesses that can make it much worse, such as endometriosis. Nah, I guess all women are just sick. So it's not always the guys on the Bad Women's Anatomy subreddit. There are women out there that don't know what they're talking about. Chinese health experts. Clinics have also been pushing women to undergo genital reconstruction surgery, claiming that the procedure makes the, you know, pinker and more aesthetically appealing. And here's a quote. The quality of your sex life definitely has something to do with the color of your genitalia. A doctor at another Shanghai-based clinic told Sick Tone. What? <laughs> Are you joking? Oh my god, what? Guys, I'm reading the comments right now and it says icky, icky, gross, gross, yuck. <laughs> and then the next comment says, I love Vinci. Oh my god, you guys are the best. <laughs> that makes me so happy. Thank you guys so much. And you said exactly what I was thinking. Icky, icky, gross, gross. Yuck, I have nothing else to say. Oh, that made my day. <laughs> Migraines are caused by women avoiding foods that allow them to fart. The only thing genetic here is a, uh, you know, psychosis. Get yourself a tall can of black beans and start munching away. Let the magnesium and folic acid fix your guts and brain all back up. <laughs> oh, I don't think that's actually based on any fact. I think you're literally just making that up, surely. Like, what do you mean you just don't fart out your migraine? <laughs> Dude, if you're holding in farts all the time, it's creating pressure, which is creating a migraine. That's some 2000 IQ stuff right there. What would happen if a woman donate the blood that she releases during menstrual cycle to blood bank? Not possible. You should take five minutes and read up on how menstrual cycles 
work and what their purpose is. Ah, uh, yeah, that's not how it works. I do totally understand why they're confused, though. They wouldn't have bothered to look it up. Nobody would have talked to them about it. And they would have heard of, like, you know, bleeding in that way. And just been like, oh, well, what's the difference? Quite a bit, actually, I think. So I'm currently sat on a bus and I've got a random boner. And it's the most uncomfortable feeling. Why can't I have erectile dysfunction? Haha. <laughs> I don't like these random third legs. It's even worse in work. Okay, the chair vibration got rid of it. I'm good, lol. <laughs> Does the vibration on the bus affect you? No. Because, damn, it's insane. How, lol? You must have the strongest willpower to not feel it like that. Um, it doesn't really work that way. Ugh, what an uncomfortable conversation. Oh, my God. And bloody relax, dude. Ha <laughs> ha. I don't like these random third legs. <laughs> you wish, dude. Ah, uh, uncomfy. <laughs> I think this one's in like a newspaper or a magazine or something. Women, keep your mimsy clean. A daily wash with the new Lux Kebab. Does that say Kebab? Soap for women will freshen up your flaps. <laughs> No way! There's no way it says that! And stop it stinking like an old kipper! Lux kebab soap. Ask your doctor today. <laughs> First of all, don't say flap. Second of all, why would you ever call it kebab soap? Oh, I really hope that's real. That's so funny. <laughs> I still can't believe there was an icky, icky, gross, gross, yuck comment on Reddit. And it had like 200 upvotes. <laughs> you guys are amazing. Thank you. Okay, here we have the woman soap. Michael. Doesn't get what she wants. Creates a problem out of thin air. Toddler tear temper tantrum. Cucked guys give validation because they want, you know. Their crappy behavior is now validated as acceptable behavior. And the cycle continues. <laughs> Did a nice guy write that or an incel? That's just disappointing. And it says so much more about the guy who wrote it than it does about women. Yeah, icky. Hold up. Wait a minute. You mean like... Ladies can get wedgies? What? <laughs> what do you think a wedgie is? Surely a wedgie to everybody is just your underwear going too far up your crack. <laughs> How does a woman not experience that? What are you talking about? It has to be a joke. <laughs> 100% surely. A lot of people like to imply that JJs don't stretch out, but having you know what with a girl after the first week sure gets a lot easier. The change might not be permanent, but if you deny it, you're kidding yourself. Oh, you're talking about as if like you start a relationship and you're starting to get more comfortable with each other. <laughs> uh, oh my God, I love these guys' opinions. <laughs> but you're not going to change how they think. You honestly might as well just have a laugh at it on the Bad Women's Anatomy subreddit. That's the best outcome here. Also, the fact that a man came up with the G spot and now everyone believes it to be real, even though it's literally never been proven, LMFAO. I can't wait for the downvotes on my comment from misinformed people as saying this always seems to cause the biggest arguments on Reddit. Edit LMFAO at all the uneducated downvoters. You're only proving my point. Google is free, guys. <laughs> Oh, why would you out yourself like that, dude? Oh, no. <laughs> I feel bad. I just don't understand what the point of this is. Like, what point are you trying to prove? What do you get out of this? Like, besides making yourself look bad, what are you doing, dude? Oh, good thing I don't know what a labium jora is, so I can't amputate it off me. It's that mask from Zelda. <laughs> Surely. Everything is coming together. It all makes sense now. We learn so much on this subreddit, don't we, guys? Oh my god, what is that? Are they smuggling like four different people in her legs? <laughs> That's a little bit out of proportion here. The tiniest waist of all time and legs that you could literally live in for about a fortnight. Like, <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised if there was a family living in there. Like, which is fine, obviously, but it's so out of proportion. Her period is connected to the phases of the moon. What the hell did I just read? Um, all women's men menstrual cycles are related to the cycle of the moon. Just so you know. Yes. <laughs> Werewolves. Oh, oh, oh. 
<laughs> now, I really didn't know that. Thank you, Bad Women's Anatomy, for educating me. Women aren't vending machines that you put niceness tokens into and then sex comes out. Yeah, you have to use real money. <laughs> oh, surely that's from a nice guy subreddit. Bro, I only take Bitcoin, okay? <laughs> niceness tokens. Yeah, surely they're talking to a nice guy. Oh my god, yeah. It's always like Amazon or AliExpress or something. It's just weird as. Like, does she have one leg? <laughs> Are the legs sort of like overlapping? Or is it just a bad Photoshop? All I know is it's wholesome memes time. My parents are listening with great interest. Toddler me rambling about nonsense. <laughs> like saying absolutely nothing. Like, oh yeah, that's so true, man. Absolutely, yeah. <laughs> I think you're really onto something there. That's so damn cute. How I go to sleep knowing that I was kind and I didn't hurt anyone today. Oh, sleepy, cozy Homer. I'm a good person. <laughs> I treat people right and they treat me right. You are the one I wish to grow old with. We made it, honey. I never doubted it. <laughs> Elderly candle lovers. That's so sweet. I hope your flame never goes out. Oh, no. My face is out of the frame. Oh, little alligator has an idea. <laughs> Look at us. We're all laying down all cuties. My cat sleeps like that, like the giraffe there. Not Chico, my other cat. She always just lays down with her head like on the ground. <laughs> it is so adorable. All right, guys, that's going to do it. Thank you so much for watching today's video. I really hope you enjoyed it. I had a wonderful time and I can't believe there are so many people on Reddit that know about the Vinci channel. That makes me so happy. I feel like I've made it. <laughs> like, yes, I'm big in the Reddit community. Let's go. That might be the best and worst thing I've ever said. If you guys enjoyed today's video, make sure you like, make sure you subscribe, all that fun stuff. I'm going to be doing two videos a day whenever I can, but I have really been enjoying just doing one. And some of my videos I've been doing one video have like 30,000 views. They do tend to get a lot more attention if I only do one, but I really like doing two, so I'm just going to do both and just keep it natural. Okay, today's comment of the day goes to Miss Aqua Monkey. Goes MGT. W, men going their own way, still expects women to give them attention and gets angry when they don't. Yeah, how true is that? I don't even know how many times we've read some MGTOW stuff where they're literally just obsessing over women still. Craziness. I know I've said it like three times, but that totally made my day. All right, everybody, have a beautiful rest of your day. Have a wonderful night. Follow me on Instagram, follow me on Twitter, become a member, all that fun stuff. Stuff, and I'll see you tomorrow at the exact same time with more fun videos. I'll see you then.